Good morning. This is <laughs> good morning. Hey, this is Jay Nicholas for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog, and I am gonna do. I actually I shot this video a minute ago, and I wasn't happy with it. Why? Well, because I think the eyes I used on the fly were just a little bit bigger than I prefer. So, hate to do it, but I'm gonna redo this fly. These are the Pro Sport Fisher tabbed printed eyes. They are really cool. I like them. But I did it with the 6mm eyes, and I think I like it better with the 5mm eyes. Now, you wouldn't think that a millimeter would be that big a deal in the appearance of a fly, but I think it is. And I'll show you at the end. Hook here. Now my, my thread is a Danville uh, 210 veneer, a 210 veneer, two, rhymes with denier, 210 denier flat wax thread. Never quite know what words are going to come out. Lagerton carded flat braid, really nice stuff. This is a peacock and black hollow. You can use several, you can use all sorts of body materials for this. Either Lagerton or not. I like the Lagerton. It's tough, it's shiny. I'm going to use extra select bucktail nicest stuff I've ever seen in my entire career that's over 50 years time flies never seen a bucktail this clean this well prepared back in the 70s Wayne Doughton and I used to get raw bucktails from the East Coast and they were the stinkiest, nastiest things, and we washed them ourselves and skinned them ourselves. Oh my goodness, those were not the good old days of fly tying. These bucktails are amazing. I'm going to make a back that has some uh, navy blue in it and some lime green. Where's my lime green? Lime green is just a little greener than the yellowish chartreuse. Now you could you could you can mix all sorts of, you could do all sorts of colors. You can try to exactly match bait fish. You can go browns and blacks and you can make Mickey Finn types of streamers but the idea is they're pretty slender. Bucktail is a traditional material and I like traditional materials and it always has worked well. And it compresses nicely. And I'm going to use a little bit of zap brush on. It, 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 it's funny, you know, folks that are tuning in to some of these videos now will realize that I used to not like super glue. I used to be very, I don't like super glue. Well, now guess what? I'm fickle. I've changed my mind. I like it really well now. I'm trying to snip off a single strand of lateral scale down here off camera to use as the lateral line here. Yep, it's funny. I've been tying flies for 50 years and I learn something new every time I take the time to open my eyes and watch somebody else tie flies. We all have our different little techniques and sometimes we discover the same things independently but some people are better at discovery than others 
I think I tend to be a person, I've probably discovered a few things, but I've learned so much from other people. So, here are these. Here's the 5 millimeter tabbed eyes. Here are the 6 millimeter. May not look much different, but I think I'm going to like my fly a lot better. Oh, I, I do already! So let me see if I can... Now I'm going to shorten that tab just a little bit. I'm going to tighten my tension on my Norvis. I'm going to shorten that tab just a little bit more. Why not just use stick on eyes? You could. Sure could. I am attracted to these tabbed eyes because you don't have to glue them into place. And once you put these beauties on there, they are on. They're very tough. They're very chew resistant. Now, you, you may be wondering why I'm using a chartreuse thread. So Danville is 210 denier. Because I had it right handy. And it'll work just fine. I love chartreuse but you might prefer a white. I think I'm trying to cut the hook shank there. That's not real smart with your scissor points, Jay. My thread slipped a little bit. Let's get back up there. Okay, so I, I have some uh, I have some issues here. Let's see if I can resolve them adequately. I think I can. Now at this point, I'm sweating it because I'm afraid I'm going to build up my head too much. Because this is a pretty thick thread, but it does lay flat. But I'm hoping last fly I finished was okay. I'm sure it would have caught fish by the bucket full, but it didn't really please me. This one I like the looks of far better. You could put a dab of clear cure goo or a loon uh, UV right there put it on top, but, but those eyes are held in place. Now, I'm going to show you for comparison. Here is the same fly tied with the six millimeter eyes. Look how different those appear. Now, if, if they want giant eyes, bam, that's your fly. I think this fly looks better with the five millimeter eyes. So, you decide, you make the call, and uh, Whatever kind of eyes you use, I think you'd be happy with a little bait fish like this. Thank you.